we realize that uh, our tissue and organs have really limited capability to regenerate. Uh, so we are very interested in trying to engineering constructs that are living constructs that could stimulate these regenerations that our body cannot do by itself. When we have our biomaterials, we need to process them in order to give the shape and the final structures that we, we wish. There are different ways to do that. We are, for example, using uh, 3D bioprinting procedures, so equipments that uh, combine already from the very beginning the biomaterials and the cells. So we are going to bioprint a structure, a three-dimensional constructs that already incorporates the cells inside the biomaterials. So this is what we call the top-down approach. Another possibility is to try to bioengineering small units where we combine at a lower scale cells and micro biomaterials and then we assemble them by using different types of techniques and in this case we have a full control on the organization of the microstructures that we are going to assemble from the very uh, bottom scale up to the macro scale at the scale of the tissue that we want to engineer. So we are doing that by combining biomaterials and cells. And so we have two approaches using this kind of combinations. The first is really for therapeutics, to implant and to regenerate a tissue and organ that is not functioning well. And the second uh, application is to try to develop uh, constructs uh, that have some kind of disease. So we are really creating disease tissues that, for example, can recapitulate the uh, biology of, uh, for example, tumors. And in this case, we can use these tissues, bioengineering in the lab, not for regenerative purposes, but for example, to test therapeutics.